Hi, in this video, I'll teach you some easy to make editable dial charts in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezzoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The editable dial charts you will learn to create today look like this. This is a simple Harvey ball, and this is a guard chart or a dial chart, and this is an interesting infographic and it is very easy to learn these kind of infographics in a matter of seconds. First, I'll teach you this one, then this one, and then this one. And all these are very easy to learn. So let us jump right in to create our first infographic, which looks like this. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to go to this option called as Pi Tool. I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw the Pi Tool. Now, let us say I want to represent, uh, say, 50%. I just need to make the adjustment in such a way that it shows as hemisphere. So now we have a 50% represented. Now, let me make a copy of this by pressing Control D. So here we have a copy of the same pie chart. Let us increase the size by holding the Shift button down and clicking and dragging from the corner. Now I'm going to make this into a complete circle. So let us go to Format, Edit Shape, Change Shape, and make it into an oval. Now we have a complete circle. Now let us go to Shape Fill, fill it with a darker color. And this one, let us fill it with a brighter color, like say this uh, orange color. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. And I'm going to bring this one forward by right-clicking and say Bring to Front and then place this right on top of the earlier one. And I'm going to slightly increase the size of this. And I'm going to select both of them together. And I just need to go to Home, Arrange, Align, and say Align Center. Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Now you can see that this particular pie is totally editable and you can move it to whichever percentage that you want. You want to show 75%, you can do it this way, 50%, 25%. 33%, you can just try any percentage combination by just working on the simple Pi tool, which is resting on top of an oval tool. Isn't that interesting? This is also called as Harvey Ball in PowerPoint. Now, let us learn how to create this interesting dial chart. Once again, we are going to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, pick up the Pi tool. Hold the Shift button down as you draw the Pi on the chart. Now. We are going to make this into a semicircle, and now when we say it as a semicircle, now this represents 50%. As you can see, you can always make your adjustments by, ma by matching this yellow handle with the white square that you see here. So that is how you ensure that the percentages are accurate. Now we have 50%. Now let us make another copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And holding the shift button down and clicking and dragging from the corner so you create the dial at the back. Go to shape fill, choose a darker color, right click and send it to back. Choose the one before that and shape fill and choose an orange color. And let us select both of them together. Go to arrange, align, align center. Arrange, align, align middle. Now we have got the dial ready. Now all we need to do is to make sure that this is a full semicircle. Yeah, it is beautiful. Now I can play with this to show any percentage in this dial. Isn't that interesting? So that is how you create this beautiful guard chart in PowerPoint. Now let us go to the third option that I talked to you about, which is this. Now once again, the basic idea of this is first we have created this oval, which is created by going to Auto Shapes menu under Basic Shapes, pick up this oval tool and draw a circle and give it a darker color and remove outline. Then we are going to choose this particular line here. And it's very, very simple. Go to Auto Shapes menu under Basic Shapes, pick up this arc tool and draw the arc. Now make the arc slightly thicker by going to Shape Outline, go to Weight and say 6 points. And you choose a brighter color for the outline, say this orange color. 
and all you need to do is to select both of them together arrange align align center arrange align align middle now the gauge is ready so you can always uh, click and drag in the corner to make sure that the sizes are to the way that you want you can always make it thicker by right by right clicking and going to format shape go to line option and if you want you can always increase the width to say 14 points as you can see here it's it's very beautiful make sure that once you do that you always select everything together go to align align center and align align middle so they both match now we are showing 25 percent here if i want to increase the percentage i just need to uh, increase the percentage with this line extension by clicking and dragging this yellow handle now i show 25 plus uh, 12 and a half which is around 37.5 percent i can always go to 50 percent 75 percent and so on so that is how you create this editable infographic and you can always write the exact number in the middle like the way that i had shown here and that will make sure that there is no guessing involved and your audience would be able to understand your infographic very very quickly now i'm going to share with you some examples from our complete trainers bundle where we have applied the lessons we have learned in this video the first example is this one which shows the simple gaat chart that i talked to you about to represent percentage completion of different phases of a project as you can see here this represents 22% 63% 100% etc and the difference is these kind of charts are totally data driven i'm going to right click and go to edit data and if i want to say the percentage completion is say instead of 22% if i want to say 44% i can make the change here and instantly the change is made here so we have taken the basic idea but then we have made it into a data driven chart now let me show you another example of a gaat chart this one is a speedometer chart that shows the performance against a qualitative parameter like low medium and high as you can see here this needle indicates whether the performance is of the right standard now once again it is very easy to edit this chart i just select the chart right click go to edit data and uh, i can show the exact number here so instead of 35 if i want to say 48 i go here and say 48 and you can see that instantly the needle has moved to 48 and if i want to change this to say uh, 78 i can do that and instantly it goes to 78 so the speedometer is fully editable and once again it is available in complete trainers bundle a variation of uh, the speedometer is this one which shows dial with completion percentage and it very clearly shows the exact percentage on the dial and you can use that to show different types of concepts for example the two different projections that is optimistic and pessimistic projections are shown here and what are the kind of things that you would do under those two scenarios are uh, written here in this beautiful template here is another example of using the speedometer chart but in a balanced scorecard instead of just writing the writing the percentages like learning and growth is 55% customer is 76% etc you can actually show those percentages using the speedometer chart and here is a variation of speedometer with different qualitative parameters these parameters are totally editable now i'm going to show you how to edit this go to edit data you can see that the split is 40 120 and 20 If I want to make it as say 60, 60, and 60, I can do that. I can go here and say 60 is um, for poor, and for okay it is um, 60, and then the rest is for good. As you can see here, I not only have the option to show percentage completion using this simple needle, I also have complete flexibility to determine these qualitative parameters as well. Another application of this chart is here where it shows dials to give performance context which shows how the various performances have fared in three different scenarios. So as you can see complete trainers bundle gives you the option to create stunning infographics in a matter of seconds where you can easily create the infographics by just right clicking and changing the sample data with your own data because all these are data driven infographics. 
I hope you really enjoyed learning the technique of how to create different types of dials in PowerPoint to create your own infographics. If you want to learn more such interesting and creative techniques to create dial charts in PowerPoint, then I highly recommend you go to Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. You can learn more about the program by clicking on this No More button. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. Before we close, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you are a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss the course. I'll see you on the inside.